Hello, in this video tutorial we're going to learn how to build SQL left join queries. For this demonstration we're going to be using Microsoft's SQL Management Studio. Let's first go ahead and start to take a look at what tables we're going to be using to create our join. On the left side we have a table called Departments. The Departments has two fields, Department Name and Employee ID. We also have an Employees table, and in the Employees table we have a few fields, AMP ID, AMP Name, and Hire Date. We want to create a join between these two tables and list the department and all of its employees. If we take a, a quick look at our data, we'll notice that we have four departments and four associated employees. In the employee table we have also four employees and four departments that they belong to. One thing you may notice is that we have, for instance, in the departments table, employees 1000, 1002, 1003, 1004. However, we don't have information for employee 1001. In the employees table we have employee ID 1000, 1001, 1002, and 1003. You'll notice that employee 1004 is missing from this table. If we perform an inner join rather than doing a left join, the results will only be three records. That's because we can only successfully match three records from each table. However, since we want, we're interested in seeing all the department information and the corresponding employees that match that department information, we're going to perform a left join. The left join is going to produce four results. By doing a left join, we'll get the four rows from the departments table, and we'll get some of the information from the employees table. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here on the screen, you'll see an example syntax for a left join. You'll notice it looks very similar to that of an inner join. Based on that syntax, we can go ahead and build our SQL select statement. So we're going to go ahead and select from the departments table the field called DEMP name, and from the employees table, EMP name. We're going to select that from the departments table and left join that to the employees table. On the employee ID field from the departments table with the EMP ID from the employees table. If we go ahead and use SQL Manager Studio and run this query against those two tables, again, since we're doing a left join, we're going to get all four records from the departments table. Just like we were discussing before, you'll notice that there are four results rather than three. Again, if we would have done an inner join, we only would have received three results back from SQL. Since we did a left join, we are telling SQL to provide us with all of the results from the departments table and any record that matches against the employees table. You'll notice that we have the four department records, however we only have three records that match from the employees table. In the example that we've been using, this left join helped us figure out which employees were not assigned to a specific department. And in this case, we just discovered that the operations department had no employees assigned. Well, that's the end of our video. Thank you for watching.